part, I don't know why they didn't, they did not timestamp the video, but we found the part where Bill Maher and Bill Burr starts talking to each other about the campus protests, Israel and Palestine, and the debate gets a little bit uh, passive aggressive, but uh, it kind of was funny as well. So let's check it out, guys. Are you kidding? Have you heard what's going on on college campuses these days? I don't watch the news. You don't realize that college campuses erupted with the kids demonstrating for Hamas? They are in with the terrorists. Oh, they, they were for the Palestinians. So this is the problem here, already changing the narrative, twisting the narrative. They're not demonstrating for Hamas. Hamas is a resisting force in Gaza, and they're resisting the oppression, the occupation of the Gazan people. And so people would not be, they're not protesting for Hamas, they're protesting for the Gaza and the oppression and the occupation against those people. They're trying to stop it. That's what they're protesting against. So I already twisted the narrative, switched it up, and uh, let's see how Bill Burr responds. Well, it's sort of, they are in with the terrorists. Oh, they, they were for the Palestinians. Well, it's sort of the same cause. By the way, um, this is still now an open challenge. Any person is an uh, open challenge right now. Any person show up on the Discord, try to debate me that Hamas is a terrorist organization. Come. Why, are you? Um, I'm on the side of the kids. Yeah, that's easy to say. You know, no one wants to see kids dead. Try to prove the Hamas uh, terrorist organization. I want somebody to try to prove it live on public challenge to anybody uh, watching this video. Come, come try to prove it. It's an open challenge to anybody. Come on Discord, try to prove that Hamas is a terrorist organization to me. Uh, this is a war. That was that, very brave of you to say this. This is a, this is a <laughs> war. No, I'm the one who's actually brave on this. Uh, it's oh, e it's pat e yourself on the back. It's easy to say I'm for the kids. Who's not for the kids? Well, it I don't comes understand. down to real hard-nosed decisions. Like uh, Everyone is, not, is for the kids except Bill Burr. Well, sorry, Bill Maher. Bill Maher is for, uh, for the weapons and the destruction. Oh, stop talking like you're... Bill Maher is for his uh, real estate in the West Bank and uh, uh, Gaza... You know, the, on the beach, real estate. In general. A country got attacked. Israel got attacked. I'm not saying oh, that oh. they didn't. Oh, oh. No, Israel got attacked. I have a right to go. Let's murder 100,000 people then. But I'm just sitting. For, for like a mere thousand people, we have to murder 100,000 and then sell their land to New Yorkers. And they're going okay. like, how do I look at what? They're the only country in the world that uh, they get attacked and then as soon as they counterattack, it's like, well, we got to stop this shit now. Don't attack them. There's a very simple solution to all this problem in the Middle East. Stop attacking Israel. So this is the problem with the argument October 7. You are using October 7 as a moral argument for why you want to commit war atrocities to the Gazans. But then it fails because you, uh, you won't accept the moral argument from the Gazans to why they want to commit crimes against you, which is that you just killed uh, 40,000 of them you know, post October 7th. So they want to now murder you, but you won't accept that as a moral argument. So why should we accept that October 7th is a moral argument that's enough to go and commit your atrocities? Do you understand this? So you're committing fallacies when you try to use a moral argument saying because of October 7th, we had to go commit these fallacies because you wouldn't agree that the Hamasis now are justified to go kill all the Israelis because of what happened post October 7th, right? Exactly. So that's, uh, so moral arguments here failed. And I really wish you guys would stop using those moral, moral arguments as Israeli. It really makes you look stupid. It makes you look Zionistic. Hey, you stop just attacking it. Israel. You just I did. solved it. I actually there did. There you go. That's fantastic. Anyway. All right. We let's, don't need let's, to get let's onto go to, that. Let, let's go to Russia and uh, the Ukraine. How do you solve that one, Bill? <laughs> let me hear your hard-nosed decision about that. Well, let me ask you a question. I like that Bill Burr just kind of pushed it away. Like, he really doesn't want to get into a big, big debate about this. Sure. How, it, yeah. how is war still legal? All this shit that's been canceled. Legal. Why is that still fucking legal? Would you like a real answer to that? Because I got your revolutions. To, for something to be illegal, you have to have the capacity to enforce it. And you can't enforce against war or else you have to go to war with the country that's going to war. And No, no, no. This is so wrong. I can't believe Bill Maher thinks this way. Th something cannot be legal unless you can enforce it. Yeah, but you can actually first cite, but you have to first have a law that you can cite against to enforce against, right? So first you create the, the legal law doctrine, then you enforce it. So yeah, it's, things can be legal before they're being enforced. What are you talking about? That's how the whole world is operating. I just cannot believe, just because you won't allow any country to enforce it upon you because you have nuclear bombs and you kill any, any country that tries to enforce the law against you, doesn't mean that you're not, 
<laughs> you're not breaking the law. <laughs> you're breaking the doctrine. But the enforcement arm is a different issue. That's a different issue completely. That's a different discussion. And that doesn't mean if we cannot enforce something, that doesn't mean that you're now committing a legal act. You're still breaking the legal doctrine. We don't want to go to war with Russia over Ukraine. What would be the sense? <laughs> Revolution is To making it illegal. Oh, that's really going to stop Putin. No. To stop people from going to war, you have to also put Just boots. Can't sit down and talk it out. Do a Why can't Putin do a podcast with the head guy? Like, you just solved the middle. What the fuck? Why is Bill Maher talking about you, should, you need boots on the ground? I, I've never seen him sign up to go be the boots on the ground. So why the fuck is he advocating for that? Like, when I advocate for war, I, I, would l I can see myself being the commander in the war zone. But he, I don't see him, for example, when, I, when he advocates for war see him in the boot so why the fuck is he advocating for i really don't understand that he's he's basically advocating for other people to go die for his cause like what are you gonna go die for bill maher's cause he's Not on me. a podcast why can't they thing is i want to sign up people for my cause and i want to die with them like uh, that's how it would be i wouldn't be signing people up so they can die for me that's weird all what they're doing on a podcast. See, make this some, is why this is not your thing. Make, make, this make is some my, hard this is my, this is, <laughs> just my it's thing. Basically, it's basically what, bill maher is a commander i would never trust you, my, you, that is my it thing. isn't your this thing. Is not it your isn't. Thing. You're like that Plain guy that, that has a fantasy football team no, and thinks no, he's no, a fucking no, GM. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Like, why am I fucking listening to you? Like, like you've done something. That's a good point. What have you done in Washington? Nothing. No, I would never go to Washington. It's beneath you. It. Uh, <laughs> no. It, 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 Look, you would be the coolest fucking guy in Washington. You showed up with those boots oh, it would be so and no tie. They'd be like, oh, my God. It would be so easy. Did Kevin Bacon just come back to that footloose town? <laughs> Kevin Bacon. <laughs> you could teach him how to dance, Bill. <laughs> yeah, I, I absolutely could. Bound, bound, make a bound, bound. You fucking get off your little private so jet. I had a TV dance, show. Um, oh, and you, go, and you travel Southwest. Is that right, Bill? I love Southwest. Really? Is I love the it? order. Is that how you travel? I love Southwest. Do you travel commercial? Most what? of the time, yeah. You do? Yeah. Commercial? Yeah. All right, now the debate's gone somewhere else. But yeah, guys, that was hilarious. Uh, so that was the Bill Maher is really a skewed, has a skewed perspective of everything. And I don't know if he implanted that upon himself or... Or he knows the truth. I think he knows the truth and he's just telling you what you he wants you to believe. But that's so weird. Like, why is he lying in public? Like, that's the problem with me is... I guess he's getting paid to lie. So maybe that's why. But anyways, Bill Burr there destroys him, moves away really quickly. I guess he, he wants to protect his own reputation. He has his own shows. And he's on TV as well. And he doesn't want to lose that by talking about Israel-Palestine. And so it makes sense. But yeah, guys, interested in your opinions, guys. I think you destroyed them, you roasted them. And Bill Maher, honestly, I would never listen to for any advice politically or even in comedy uh, in general, man, anymore. Man, the guy is just rotten-brained at this point from all the weed he's smoking and all the alcohol he's drinking.